Go ahead. Thank you. Did you repeat okay. that, Maria, so, just for the recorder? Yes. So basically, the the theft of the election was orchestrated in the Rome Embassy on the second floor of Via Veneto by an employee, Stefan Serafini, Foreign Service Officer of over 20 years. He retired the day before the election to ensure he would not lose his pension, unlike what happened to some of the FBI agents who betrayed our country in 2016 and, and did lose their pension just days before their retirement. So Stefan Serafini coordinated with a general, Claudio Graziano. And Claudio Graziano, General Graziano, is on the board of Leonardo, the defense contractor. Leonardo SPA. Leonardo used their military satellite uplink to load the software and transfer it over to change the votes from Trump to Biden. So what everybody's been saying is that we know something happened, we know something happened. The proof that was missing, the very basic who did it, where did they do it, and how did they do it has been missing from all of the um, all of the documents sent into the courts, all of the affidavits, there was nothing that was helping us win in the courts. They thought that they were very shrewd in how they did it. They uh, had um, a really brilliant plan that was orchestrated by Barack Obama with the help of Renzi, the former prime minister of Italy. The Italian intelligence service has supplied us with intercepts, photos, phone calls, and um, shockingly, pictures of the CIA agents who have been involved in orchestrating this. Those pictures of the CIA agents uh, ended up on the internet, and um, those operatives and the folks in at, uh, the government in Italy started panicking. And they started replacing all their heads of intelligence, of, of the cyber readiness, and within Leonardo. And Leonardo, the actual person that did the uploading, arrested for quote-unquote safekeeping um, and had, him, had the other one uh, put in house arrest. The, the gentlemen that are in, um, in jail and, and in house arrest are being accused of hacking in to Leonardo to look at like airplane schematics and, and to get some of their other tools. They're not saying what really happened because it's really about them trying to cover. Unfortunately, other people know who they are and their, their lives are at great risk. Her team is on the, on the streets of, of Italy and specifically Rome right this second, building out the plan for divulging this today. We are putting out the information. Obviously, it's um, not as uh, quick as I would have liked, but it, uh, it's, you know, we leave this up to God and God's timing. Because had Brian Kemp in Georgia, and oh, by the way, I should say for those of you in Georgia, I had notified Brian Kemp many, many weeks ago that I was working on this and information was coming. And I've been trying because they need proof. And you cannot blame them for needing the proof because an allegation like this has to have backup. And so um, I, I also... Uh, on Christmas Eve, as God would have it, and through the, uh, the assistance of Tiffany Trump, my husband and I and, and Marla helping me get into um, an invite into Mar-a-Lago on Christmas Eve, Steve and I had a moment to speak with the president, and I informed him that he is getting the best Christmas present he could ever ask for, the affidavits of the people who did it and their confession and assistance in letting everybody know what happened. He um, was seated at his table. He swung his head around and, and he said, Merry Christmas to me. I said, Merry Christmas, sir. We're about to give you the best Christmas present ever. You're going to have the evidence you need from the Italian whistleblower who actually committed the crime of uploading the software. 
And he spun his head around and he went, what? like, what? And the look on his face. And I said, if you'll permit me, I have a piece of paper for you. And he said, please. So I, uh, Steve handed me the paper and I handed it to the president. And um, that got the ball rolling that I finally got past a lot of gatekeepers and was able to meet with Rudy. I had three subsequent meetings with Rudy at Mar-a-Lago and also saw him in the Georgia Capitol. We have prepped the team on the evidence that we have to date, and he pretty much turned to us on Thursday and pointed at us and said, you have to go get that data. Well, the reason is because all the cases in all the states are are in grave danger of, of having the impact they need. Um, we needed, uh, for the past week, an airplane and funds. A, um, a Arch, an archbishop went missing in Nigeria, which was horrible. He was kidnapped, and we actually had that as an opportunity to supply an aircraft. And unfortunately, or fortunately, as God would have it, um, the, the archbishop was rescued and freed, but it was before our plane took off from D.C. to rescue and, and take place in, in also bringing back the people that we need. Um, we're in urgent needs of funds for, um, for this effort, uh, both from a security standpoint. If you ever told me I'd need to steal a knife off of a table at a restaurant, I would have said you're crazy. And um, unfortunately, we have had some very um, intense situations. And I'm sure it's just the beginning because things will um, escalate. We need, a, we need security for the people involved in this. We need extensive PR, and we need to have the grassroots army up and running like never before. And the reason is, um, aside from the fact that we've just awakened a sleeping giant and people who thought that they escaped with the greatest theft in the history of the world, they actually um, have, have, have lost, and they don't know it yet. And it's about to all hit in Italy. We have been working with reporters throughout Europe, and those reporters are preparing the documentation now with the intercepts, the photos, and documentation on how this entire thing un un had occurred. Um, the shocking news overnight is that we have now also received detailed outlays of how the funding took place. Our research has been phenomenal. It's unequivocal. It, it is not debatable. It is rock solid proof, which is part of the problem the Trump family has had is, oh my gosh, you know, this is a, a, a trap. It's just like Russia collusion. And you cannot blame them because a lot of people got charged with things and were put through uh, horrendous efforts for the past four years by um, the previous administration. What is important to understand is that Barack Obama in 2017, just as he was leaving, he took some of the money that was slated for Iran and picked up by Italy to transport to Iran through the UAE, actually took 400 million, it was 14 pallets of cash of your hard-earned money, and that money was transferred over to different accounts, and that was the plan to help unravel the funding to unravel the Trump presidency. Fourteen, or, or I'm sorry, um, fourteen pallets of cash. So that those funds we now know and have proof of where they went and how they got there. I can tell you the exact uh, travel plan of, of the cash. We know it was Barack Obama. Barack Obama conspired with Renzi in uh, the White House. The last state dinner that the president had was with Renzi, the prime minister of Italy. And Obama's campaign manager returned to Italy to orchestrate the effort with Renzi. The um, acting um, prime minister, Conte, is vehemently... Um, I shouldn't use the word vehemently, but is very, very engaged and involved. 
This information um, cannot be released yet in the states. We uh, we are waiting for Italy to um, to to do their work. We released uh, some information early, and um, someone on our team actually released it a little too early. So uh, the the um, the fear on uh, that side has escalated drastically. Um, and, and the threat level. Uh, I do not have all my people here yet uh, safe. And so we're trying to get everyone back safe. We're trying to get the articles done. And we are um, working hard at giving that proof um, to the president and, and to Rudy and to Mark Meadows. Mark and team are trying to help us. We have SECDEF, uh, the Secretary of Defense, who is a fantastic man, Chris Miller, who has been advised of our situation. Um, because it's a NATO ally, we have to be careful on the expo uh, of pulling our people out. And we can't just go invade Italy, unlike what some rogue um, military people might want to do. That's uh, not the way to do it. So we've got assets on the ground who are very skilled and helping us. We've been funding them. Uh, to the tune of over a half a million dollars out of my account, my personal account, and my friend. So um, we need help. We, we need financial support. We need prayers, 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 that all of our people come out, that the American public see the truth as what it is, and that the Italian counterparts in the media are able to articulate articulate this in a way that is going to help us springboard off of it to shut down the mainstream TV from, from not reporting it. We have an Italian judge who has just this morning, Italian time, so they're six hours ahead, so in their morning, has now filed for an investigation, and Barack Obama is the center of that investigation. We have um, a, a need for recommendations from lawyers that can help me because I am in unchartered territory along with the country in how this is going to be handled. Uh, but for the protection of our little nonprofit, we are little, but we are mighty guys. So uh, for the team that's on the call, I, I can never thank you enough because of, of your help and, and support and guidance. We would never be where we are today in solving this, this crime. Um, so definitely lawyers uh, to help us navigate and give us recommendations and advice. We need um, the sharing of our posts on Facebook uh, from Nations in Action and from our website, nationsinaction.org. And then we need help creating those Facebook posts and, and social media posts. And Marjorie can be the uh, traffic cop, for lack of a better word, on how all of that with the PR uh, would flow. We have um, the need for a strong PR firm that we can manage to help us uh, do this and, and if uh, at all possible in kind donations or reduced fees since, uh, since we're um, ex way exceeded any budget we could ever have dreamed of. And um, last but not least, I may need secure housing for my husband and I when retaliation happens. So, um, so that's, that's the wish list and, uh, and I know God has protected us through this and opened those doors and open the hearts of many who uh, have helped house me. Corey Davenport hid me away for a little bit, uh, and uh, somehow we were shielded from MI6 when they infiltrated Flynn's shop. So General Flynn and I were in communication for the last four weeks. I've been in meetings with Sydney Powell. Uh, in the meetings with Sydney, uh, I can tell you the people in the room jumped up out of their chairs at least 10 times any time they heard a door shut or a car door outside, and we were followed. We've been followed many, many times. Um, I do have a security person who's with me here in D.C. at this time and uh, very capable, so I'm, I'm not in fear. Um, and, uh, and we need prayers that the meeting with POTUS happens. He thinks Rudy's got this under control. There's, there's a lack of understanding that this is an ongoing operation and things are breaking every, like, few hours. So I'm getting more and more information. So I'm, it's impossible for me to keep the White House up to speed 
um, when I'm just trying to send an email or who am I talking to? Is it Mark on the, um, as chief of staff? Is it, is it the uh, campaign with Rudy? So I'm kind of juggling multiple angles into the president. He deserves to know what happened to him in full. And uh, he was quite shocked and surprised when I told him. And I was shocked and surprised that he didn't already know because I thought General Flynn had read him in. And uh, unfortunately, I had gotten erroneous information on that end. So um, General Flynn and, and Sydney are not as um, welcome in the White House right now, specifically Sydney, because it did not go well. And uh, so now we're in a, uh, an interesting situation of, you know, how I uh, communicate what we're doing on, uh, on the ground abroad and then how we'll roll this out. So with that, I would love to open it up for questions. Um, any, any questions? Maria, hi, this is Carolyn Garcia. Um, hey, Carolyn. Hi, dear. Uh, yes, you'll be in my prayers at all times, all of you. Thank you. Um, I, the question is, is that um, how are we going to, is this going to happen before the 20th? I mean, I know the 6th is coming up uh, with the votes, and thank God we've got people that are going to stand against the, uh, except in the Electoral College, but um in all honesty, is this going to actually all hit the fan after he is sworn? Uh, uh, Biden would be sworn in, or what? What are we looking at? Yes, yeah. it's actually hitting today in Italy, and we're taking those articles and getting them to everyone here. And I was supplying documentation to uh, Peter Navarro and others throughout uh, the middle of the night as, as I was getting them. So we, we are giving them the evidence. I just received a call from one of Jim Jordan's staffers requesting the evidence. Devin Nunes' shop has been waiting on us to give them the documents. So I, I have way more work than I have arms and legs um, and the team. So I am providing all of that evidence. But um, the uh, Italian government conservative side is blowing this up as we speak throughout Italy. Um, there is a reporter named Daniele Capazzone, m one of my little heroes in this. He was the uh, Newt Gingrich of, uh, of the Italian parliament and is now the Sean Hannity of Italy and, uh, and a great reporter. And he is um, out there working this story right now and integrating all the proof with the intercepts. We previously had the affidavits done. Our huge problem in what we can get out and get to the, the press, uh, one of the key sticking points is I don't have the money and the plane to bring certain people back. And um, we, we are trying to work on a government solution as we speak on that. So. Now that things are progressing, it's my hope that I'll be going uh, to, to uh, resolve some of that this afternoon. Um, and it's just a matter of waiting on Italy to actually get that article and the proof out. And then the White House knows already who we have and what we need. And Mark was reaching out to SecDef to help make this happen. Um, the funding is a big piece of it because we have racked up a huge bill in Italy for security forces, and so they're still waiting to be paid, and um, and so that's not helpful um, because honestly, if you had told me it would take me seven weeks to break through the uh, morass of the bureaucracy of D.C., I would have said no way. I thought they'd be excited about, hey, we have proof. But apparently a lot of people were screaming, hey, we had proof when they didn't. So we ended up getting caught in this, swept up in this, oh, Russia collusion, and no one wanted to believe us. And God has prevailed in ways I just can't even begin to tell you. Um, the miracles, I mean, just incredible miracles uh, every step of the way. And um, I am so, so grateful because those prayers everybody has put on – um, on the secrecy and, and protection, especially for my partner in this, um, 
she went totally unseen going through areas that she should have been seen and, and picked up and, and it didn't happen. They had more security and they're looking for her. Um, so we're um, very much, Carolyn, seeing this as, as a today and tonight um, uh, boost. They're, they're plan mapping out as best as they can uh, over there, but now with the judge filing for his paperwork, as well as the reporter, as well as the government officials being briefed right this second. It's all, it's all moving. It's in play. The affidavits are key, obviously. So I'm still waiting on word on when the affidavits will, will come and how quick we can get the plane and get the people. But for right now, this is the evidence that they needed. I reviewed the Washington documents. They had me... Um, uh, review the uh, and and try to provide evidence because I reviewed their slides that they gave to Cruz and others to present um, and honestly I was shocked at how lackluster their evidence was and they're sitting there yelling at me get proof get proof and I'm like if this is all you guys have we're in trouble so I um, I'm very grateful that we now have the assistance of uh, of of the folks abroad that are are handing everything over. So uh, I have requested uh, POTUS to, to request these documents, but because of the State Department interference and our government agencies that have interfered, um, we have had many, many, um, many, many issues uh, in that regard. So um, that's made it very difficult for the White House, and I, I feel so sad for the President because of how bad the betrayal was. So um, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot for him to learn. And, uh, and it's made it difficult to solve some of the problems because they're, they're constantly working against him. Other questions? Well, yeah, yes, I have, I have a, question. a question, Maria. This is Debbie Georgiatis. I would love to ask you this. You, uh, I host, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and I host uh, the conservative talk show, America Can We Talk, and I've had Sydney Powell. Yeah, and love it. Other... Okay, thank you. I would love, my show is at 3 p.m. Central Time here in Texas, so 4 p.m. Eastern, and I, number one, would love to know if everything you're talking about today can be talked about mm -hmm. in the show, and then number two is, are you available or someone you would designate to talk about this even today on the show at 3 o'clock? Um, great question. Let me double check because I'm trying to get meetings with Rudy and, and Mark. And so really that's my number one priority. Um, but I promise you I will try to do your show uh, as soon as I can. So let me, let me get back to you on that, okay? Totally fine, yes. And again, it's 3 Central, so 4 Eastern. And um, I'm thrilled with everything you're doing. I, I've been following this, as I'm sure everyone on this call has, extremely closely. It is just the most astonishing attempt. It's an uh, election as a coup or coup as election. And uh, I'm thrilled for all the work you've done. Um, and so what we were talking about today in this phone, you're, this call, you're going to be distributing, I guess, the recording of this call to what you're saying today. May I talk about my show today at 3? Um, let me let Marjorie and Lydia work on the PR plan that's outside of my okay. realm. They'll work on that and get, get with you. So stay in communication with Marjorie, and, and we'll figure that out on which pieces because we don't want to blow too much too quick. And I'm not yep. sure how much the American public can tolerate. Um, it's easy to say that that's happened through Leonardo and, and a couple guys loading it. But once you unveil the rest of it, I, I'm not sure that, that that will go very well. And so we, we believe that one piece should be the first shoe to drop. Completely understand. Other I questions? I do not want to in any yep. way interfere with the impact. And I understand the American people are already overwhelmed with what's out there. And they, they can't keep track of the players, the players. The, 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 you know, domestically, internationally, already can't keep track of it. I completely, I, I respect that very much. Thank you. Uh, Marie, I Other have questions? a question. Yes, it's Marie. And, uh, you know, I'm wondering, hey. where, is Trump, where, where is Trump in all this? And, and, and the finances, are they coming from him? Um, I have not received any financing um, the family, you know, some of the guys were very scared. This is Russia collusion. You haven't shown proof. And they keep saying no proof, no proof. 
And so um, with grave risk, we are pulling it out right now. Um, there will be people who are in harm's way, Marie, and I'm, I'm not sure some of them are going to make it. Um, and it breaks my heart because I begged some of the people around Rudy to not force us in the way they are. And uh, some of the young folks feel like it's, hey, you know, it's, we, we need this now. And I'm like, people will die. And they go, we don't want to hear that. And I'm like, wow, wow. Um, the president, he, he only knows a small part of this. Thank God Marla and Tiffany have been with us in, in um, trying to help educate him. They have asked that he meet with me. He needs to meet with me today, and that is one of my biggest prayer requests. Because if he understood the full gravity of what's happening, like Jim Jordan Stafford just called me and said, oh, I heard you have some information you want to pass to help the, the congressman in his testimony. I'm like, yeah, you could say that. Like, are you kidding me? This is not, oh, I just have a little tidbit for you. Um, it's the whole enchilada. And so the president is in a, a situation where um, he's, having to, he's having to field internal battles in the White House, and it's not been pretty. And now it's all about the subject of Italy. And other people have gone and acted like they were in charge of this operation. And I confronted Mark Meadows, and I was like, and, and this is my biggest problem. I don't know if it's a female thing or what, and I've never felt that before, but yet the two women who run the two organizations who did this have never been in a meeting face-to-face -face with Mark Meadows or the president, but yet they have invited these mercenaries in and all these other people who David. say they're running the operation. I'm sorry, who just joined? David, I, I had to get back on. Sorry. Okay. So, so basically, um, because they've never and, – and Mark wants me to give it to him in under three minutes. I cannot tell this whole story in under three minutes. It's impossible. So I'm, I'm struggling, and maybe that's one of the prayer requests, that you guys can help me find the right words as fast as possible, that he can hear and other people can hear me and understand the gravity of it and, and move what the needs lists are, because the needs list from the government is there. And it's turned into a government op because people went and – said they were doing it and trying to collect the money. And it's, it's all these groups out there trying to say they're solving this election stuff and they want to raise money for their groups and raise exposure. Well, that's never been our goal. And our team is very low key, get it done, move on to the next battle. We're taking on George Soros and, and it's, it's, it's pure evil. And I don't know how the president or the nation is going to take this information and honestly, my partner is fearing this is going to split America when the whole thing comes out. Does that help to answer it, Marie? Yeah, somewhat, yes. <laughs> uh, Maria, this is so, Carolyn again. I, I feel really strongly that we need to just stop and pray right now. Um, please. That. Yeah, yeah we, we really do. And I, I, I'll start if anyone else wants to join in. Father, first of all, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and we just thank you, Father God, that you you see all the plans ahead before we even can think of what plans are. And Lord God, I ask first of all, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you put your hand of protection over Maria, over Stephen, over everyone involved in this, that you cover them with the 91st Psalm, Lord God, that they we speak the 91st Psalm over them, that they are under the shelter of your wings, Almighty God, and everyone that is involved in this, Lord God, that you will have your covering over them. Hide those people in plain sight that need to be hidden that can get truth out. Reveal truth, Lord God, no matter who it affects. Reveal the truth of what has gone down. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give Maria and those people who need to get to see the president, you will give them favor and audience with him. And if it needs to be Mark Meadows moved aside to get this done, then Father, remove anyone that is a hindrance. I don't care what their title is, what their name is, and who they're connected with. Remove those impediments, Lord God, that would stop the truth from going forward. 
We come against the enemy, who is Satan, who is controlling these people in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no power. You have no power when the name of God and the name of Jesus is put forward. Father, we just ask that you just bring these things about. Those people in other countries that are working on this, we ask your divine protection for them. We ask that you give them favor in all areas of their life involved with this. Thank you, Lord God, that you hear this prayer. We ask you that you go forward with this, Lord God. We don't know how we don't know how it's going to come about, but you do, Lord. And I just thank you for servants who are willing. I ask you for protection for them. I ask you for finances for them. I ask you for the plane that's needed for them. Anything that's needed, Lord, you are more than capable. We thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would, I would, I would just like to say that, uh, that we need to implore the Holy Spirit with Amen. his wisdom with his wisdom and his justice, let him let him hover over this endeavor, and let it let it come to fruition. Lord, please send your Holy Spirit. It is He who guides us. It is He yeah. that we love. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, and I know I we are. No um, may I? May I'm I sorry. May yes. I pray? This is okay. Father, we Please. come to you in the, na- in the name of Jesus, and we declare and we decree that no weapon formed against this team shall prosper. I thank you, Lord, that you open doors that no man can shut. No. The time has been three minutes t- to be given. But, Father, I thank you as Maria yeah. go yeah. able to play. Yeah. Father, I just thank you as she goes in with us. Lord, this is Jack. Lord, I also thank you when she goes. Your word promises that when we're carried before the magistrates, that we should take no thought of what we should say because the Holy Spirit will give us that in the selfsame hour. That's your word. We stand on it, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you are the great conductor of the universe, Lord, and you are orchestrating this whole thing, Father. And I know that we have a part to play, Lord. But we should cast our care on you and trust you. Father, you've already shown us by your protection of those abroad. Lord, in places and times when they should have been found out, they passed through, Lord, without being discovered, Lord, because you cloaked them in your glory, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that America was founded by you. It was not founded by us, Lord. It was for your vision. And so, Lord, we say thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. And we stand ready, Father, to do the things that you have us do. And, Lord, we do ask for your wisdom. Your word says if you, any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who upbraideth not, but giveth to all men liberally. And, Lord, we ask for wisdom for our president, Donald J. Trump, wisdom beyond any man. And, Father, we come against the Chinese Communist Party that's trying to orchestrate this thing and bring down President Trump, Lord. We ask that you thwart them in every place, Lord. And, Father, that you get those of us that go forth to meetings, the proper meetings with the proper people and the proper ears. And, Lord, that you exclude those that should not be in those meetings that would divulge things, Lord. And we thank you, Father, that your hand is upon this. We see it in every place. And we thank you for victory because your word says you always cause us to triumph in Christ. And you make manifest the savor of that victory through us in every place. Lord, we will tell this for the rest of our lives, how you delivered us in our time of trouble. And we thank you for it, Lord. We give you every praise and every glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Jack and and Kay and and Carolyn and everyone. And I'm uh, very pleased to say I believe we have Miss Marla Maples on the phone. Marla, are you there? 
Oh, hi, darling. Yes, I've been on about 15, 20 minutes hearing everyone, and thank you so much more than anything for your for your beautiful prayers that just help strengthen us for the day. <laughs> it really does. And, and, Maria, you know how much I love you. You know how much I support you. And uh, we're, we're moving it. We're moving it. We know we're moving it, and we know God is completely in this. We have every sign in the world that we are on the right path and that he, he knows, and we will just make sure he knows even more. Today is a big day for everyone. So we well, thank you so much for your continued prayers. And Maria, <laughs> your fearlessness, of course. Well, I, I can't thank to... you enough, Marla, for having the faith and trust in me because I know <laughs> the story unfolding has been quite a, a whirlwind, and I'm just very grateful for your friendship, your support, and everything you're doing to go out on the line for us because uh, it, it would not be doable without you and, and Tiffany. And please, please tell her thank you so much. Oh, of course, of course, of course. And let's see what we can accomplish before uh, the rally tonight, before he has to go to Georgia. Maria, one, yes, just ma'am. one last, last thought, and that is that uh, a blessed mother, as Catholics, we know that she is the patroness of the United States of America, and we ask her intercession as we pray all these beautiful prayers for you and your team and our country. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And, and the blessed Maria, Lord. Maria, this is Linda. I don't yes. know if you can hear me. He yes. is coming to Georgia tonight, and it's going to yes. be Air Force One, and it's an hour flight any way you look at it. We know that congressmen have been in, in the Capitol because of the vote for, for Speaker yesterday, uh, but yet they're coming to Georgia. So are we able to find out if uh, Barry or Jody, for instance, might be on that plane with him? And if they are on that plane with him, are they in a position to speak your praises or provide any of the details that you've not been able to get through to him? Um, Barry actually was a blessing in getting me to Devin Nunes. He called Devin for me. And that helped uh, help a, a little bit, but they're all still waiting for, quote, unquote, the proof. And I'm like, I've laid out everything, and, and I'm like, okay, let me just go solve it all and, and then smack them with the proof a little harder with just laying it across the world. And that's the path, unfortunately, we've had to take um, because of the urgency. And, uh, and once we, we expose and provide transparency, everywhere um, that takes the pressure off of the people that are currently targets. So we've been trying to protect them in every way possible. And once, uh, once all that's out, that I couldn't wait on, on, on Congress. I couldn't wait on some of these bureaucrats because the heat is so high now with the other folks who have tried to go in there and, and uh, you know, it's hard for anyone to know who the good guys are and the bad guys. If you say you're calling from the United States government, the Italian Secret Service immediately will not trust you, and, um, and rightfully so, because we have disgraced our country, uh, these people who, who say they, they represent the United States. So um, I, I think that there is a way, uh, once these articles break, Marjorie will post things to the website and to our Facebook page. If you guys can all get them and start putting them out to the elected officials, and um, certainly Marla is able to get them uh, in as well. So we, we need that push of all the things that are being created overseas. We're converting uh, into English and, um, and getting ready for everyone. We need that push also for the general public, and especially in Georgia, especially in areas like Johns Creek. So Marie, the, the, the church network of St. Bridget is so vital because what you're looking at is, you know, the the sixth and fifth and fourth congressional districts, and letting people know this happened is is huge. And and on on the election tomorrow, so we will plan a media assault there, uh, most likely tomorrow. I may call uh, and talk to some of the reporters to brief them based on Marjorie's uh, request. Um, Debbie, if you're still on, I, I would love to do that interview, and I think what would be great is if we take that interview and then let that go viral to help instruct and educate the elected officials, because my bandwidth is so short, 
um, and and so uh, barring any appointment with Rudy or or POTUS or or Mark, um, maybe I'd I'd really like to take you up on that because I think sending that around uh, yeah, might be. This is Debbie. I am still on. I would love it. I could do it by phone, Zoom. Um, FaceTime, whatever is easiest for you. My studio can get you connected in any way that's easiest. And I'm just going to leave. The, I mean, I, I have a show ready in case I don't have any guests today. I don't usually have a guest on Monday, but I'll push everything aside to do this. So you just let me know. Fantastic. Well, let's let's do sure. it. If, uh, and then just forgive me if, unfortunately, um, one of those other meetings pops up. But I will I will be a yes uh, as of now. Maria. Great. Maria. That's great. Maria, this yes. is Mike Stupin. Is there any chance that Tom Talbot and Jim Jordan can get you in with the president? Um, that I, tr- I tried that. I tried that over the weekend, and and um, had, it, you said Jim Staffer. I said he sent me a text about uh, a senior as possible. So uh, I'll send him another one that you also have more proof on the on the funds moving. Um, I'll yes. do my best, Maria. Yeah, and like it Jim does. sent me off to staff, and, you know, I keep getting shoved to staff, and I'm so, I was staff 30 years ago, and it makes me cringe when I hear I'm being pushed to staff. Um, Barry could be very helpful, and he could be the hero, so if everybody bombarded Barry's office and said, Barry, get Maria to put us ASAP, and that would dovetail in with what everyone else is doing, I think that would be key. Um, yeah, we got to we, we got to see what the side open. Yes, Maria Potus is going to have a national audience tonight at 9 p.m. And we know that every news media is going to be showing that rally. If, if there is anything that you can get uh, to find out who from Georgia is going to be on that plane. We know that Kelly's going to be there. David is still in quarantine. But if you can get Kelly, and if you can, it, it, it screams that it would be Susie. very, Susie. if you can get that. that. Susie's your link. Susie's your link. Susie, Susie can get that from Kelly and can talk to Kelly Loeffler. So she placed a call to her. I don't know if she had the call. So can you coordinate with her? And also, you just gave me a great idea. Anyone who can get signs and just, I don't care, poster board that say, Italy did it. David Those is currently have... in Dalton. He has yes. a hotel David, room. I need you to go to Staples. I need you to buy 50 poster boards. I need Italy did it, and I need people waving those to the president because he, if he right. has it from the podium, then yeah. it will go viral. Italy knows. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. They're pretty. I, I right. think they're they're figuring out he knows. But today yeah. they know he knows. This so could be the great, Maria, be great. because I, that's I, I, national I, I, television. Yeah. Yes. And I, I when, when you do the sign, do the sign so that they are yeah. front and back, so that when yeah. you hold the sign up, Hoda sees yeah. it, but also the 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 cameras Media. will see it. Front and back, guys. Front and back. We know that. Okay, next question. Hey, Maria. Yeah, Maria, yeah. this is Debbie George. I just wanted a quick thing I want to ask you. Uh, I know Congressman Louie Gohmert here from Texas is in regular touch with the president, is definitely on, uh, you know, you know his whole effort lit- litigation-wise. He may be another vehicle. I don't know if you've been in touch with him at all. Does he know what you've been doing? Because he may be another way to get to Trump to say, you need to listen to this, have another name, listen to this person. Have you been in touch with him? Yes, I actually, uh, I, I don't have access to him. I have access to his staff, Connie. Um, but it would be lovely if Louie would take the lead and um, Emily get Finkel. that meeting. Well, I, yeah. I can at least text him and tell him, but yeah, I want to know exactly what you want me to say to him. But I, am, I was in touch with him all Ask the him to call me personally. Yeah, give him my cell phone and ask him to call me personally, and um, Connie's well aware of part one, but no one knows part two except you guys, because I just got it overnight. Nobody knows what I've told you. Okay. So I'll give you okay. your cell number, Maria, right? Yes. Yes, thank okay. you. Next question? Yeah, this is Tony. Uh, Maria, 
when is the official PR push out for Wisconsin or for the United States? And secondly, if you do that interview this afternoon, if that's it, can we get a copy of that sent to the group so we can start pushing that out if that's our start point? Yes, that would be our start point, and Debbie will assist, I'm sure, in getting us the links. And Marjorie, um, when you crack the whip on her, she'll pull everything together for the United States. So, um, so have at it, guys. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, I yep. knew you did, and Marjorie <laughs> does too. So you guys uh, know the drill. We haven't been, you know, this is not new to us. We're well-trained, and we were, you know, honestly, God prepared us for this moment. So you know, we, we did those 80 to 100 million social media impressions a week. We, we, know, we know what we're doing. And those gifts of those experiences is what is elevating us to this moment and why, honestly, we were all chosen to be on this call and make this happen. And so the, it's go time. But if Nicholas, we get requests off the uh, – uh, once we get the link for your interview from tonight, uh, from whatever that show was, I, I forgot the name, but once we get that interview, we probably will get some requests for interviews from other groups and stuff. Do we yep, just Manager refer them to Marjorie? Yes. Marjorie is the lead, and Lydia and Susan will all be at the Yep. Next question. Maria, Maria, oh, go ahead. We can go ahead. If you've already asked the question, please let others uh, ask. Go ahead. Maria, Maria, this is David. Uh, Rob Ackerson is Barry Loudermilk's chief of staff. I can ask uh, Rob if Barry's going to be on Air Force One. Is there anything else you want me to find out? Uh, no, that would be a good question. That would be great. Okay. And get it to Linda, please. Thank you. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, and Maria, I think that we can share um, the link to watch POTUS tonight because it is going to be a national audience. It is the best. That's fine. And I think if your people can see those signs, Italy, uh, Italy did it, happened in Italy, I think that will spur questions as well. But I think that's probably the best thing to do. Nothing Conte's like having going to be out of office in eight days. I'm going to repeat this. Conte is going to be out of office in eight days. We need a hashtag Conte come clean as well as Italy did it. Okay. How do you spell Conte? C-O-N-T-I? E. C-O-N-T-E. Okay. Giuseppe Conte. Next question. Well, I know it's a small offering, but I did tell Linda, this is Rhonda, that I own a private airport, and I have an FAA yeah, approach. The only people that can come in are people that have my permission or court order. If you if you land Air Force One in there, I'm in trouble. But um, it's, it's available. Foot runway, correct? Correct. With an approach, that's important because people can land it. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. As so if I can help, just that. let me know. But let yes. me know first, please. I can do short fields. Yes, I, okay. I will. I, I, I will. Thank you so much. Other mm -hmm. questions? Okay. Maria, this is Sarai. Um, hey, Sarai. Gotta, hi. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, Thank you, you. Do you? Um, you're seeing uh, the hashtag. <coughs> the hashtag Italy did it. But if if it was the defense contractor, why would we put the blame on Italy? It was actually General Graziano, who is their commanding leader, who is also the leader of the EU. And he oh. orchestrated it and serves on the board of Leonardo, the contractor. This was a multi-country attack. Alexander Nix is a name that uh, Debbie, you, and others should be researching. I and the team know Alexander well, Cambridge Analytica, who embedded with the um, right, with right. Uh, the the Cruz campaign and then Trump campaign in 2016, yeah, he is MI6, like and he is the one who has been putting the bounty out. So uh, we have been infiltrated. Alexander Nix was also involved in government meetings in the United States as late as October on election fraud. So we have been infiltrated to the level that we've never seen, and we have a lot of cleaning up to do. Next question. Okay. 
Awesome. Oh, you guys are an easy crowd today for all this news. <laughs> Let's go um, to work. So, yes, we have a lot to do. So thank you. God bless you guys. Pray for us. Please consider donating. We have the donate button on the website. We have wiring instructions. And uh, if anyone can supply those, any one of those six items uh, that I listed on the social media, the legal, the PR, uh, we're, we're in desperate need of a lot of help. And um, if here I'm laying my head down on different pillows every night. Don't be surprised. <laughs> so here we go, guys. But God's got us, no doubt. And, uh, and I'm just so grateful uh, to all of you. So um, the link uh, to everything is nationsinaction.org, O-R-G. So nationsinaction.org. Any questions last minute? Go, go, go on. Any last minute prayer? Take us out. We got you, girl. Amen. Thank you. We're praying. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye